Roller coaster fans, six million of them, flocked to Kumba since it opened in April of 1993. But a cloud hangs over the ride today. Largo teenager Lacey Ingram died after a trip on Kumba late Saturday night during a private company picnic. Her mother says during the ride, her daughter was sitting next to her friend Philip. And right towards the end of the ride, she looked over at Philip and she says, I don't think I should have came on this ride. And with it being the Kumba, Philip, you know, just basically hung on. And when the ride stopped, he looked over and her head was hanging. Thank you. And enjoy your ride on Bush Kumba. Gardens has signs at the entrance to Kumba warning anyone with health problems not to get on. But the teenager's doctor tells Eyewitness News she was in perfect health, even though she suffered what appeared to be a seizure last January. I had looked through the chart. I've spoken with the cardiologist. Um, everyone is baffled what happened to her because everything was coming out normal. Um, I can understand the mom's feeling that everything was okay to go on the ride. A nurse who was at the ride exit at the time the teen was taken off claims she was not allowed to help the child. Those kids need to let that health care professional evaluate. You address yourself as a nurse and they push you away, that's wrong. Our reports and talking to all of our people, uh, that's not exactly true. We, we had uh, our ride operators who cleared the platform, of course, but when uh, the nurse uh, that you're speaking of identified herself as being a nurse, we certainly welcomed her assistance and, and she immediately uh, started uh, working on Lacey. The Ingrams are meeting with their attorney, David Kessler, at this hour. His office says they're investigating the incident, trying to obtain additional information.